everyone and welcome to or back to my channel. So I never really officially started this vlog. It's kind of like a continuation from there was like the first day moving, the second day moving. It was so much footage that I made that the first moving vlog. So this was kind of like a continuation of those days. Um, but I ended up kind of breaking it into a couple separate moving vlogs. I just wanted to say welcome to or back to my channel. Make sure to check out the first moving vlog if you haven't seen it already. Um, it was kind of crazy because there was this whole situation with my couch and that was where I got my keys. I showed you an empty apartment tour, so it linked below and I'll also show it in a card here at the top. And definitely make sure to follow me on Instagram at emilygrace.26 for more like behind the scenes, real time updates. And also make sure you guys are subscribed if you're not subscribed because I'm definitely gonna be posting more apartment content. There's gonna be a third moving vlog and also an apartment tour at some point. Definitely stay tuned for all that. So subscribe if you're not subscribed, turn the notification bell on follow me on Instagram thumbs up this video for more moving content and I just really hope you guys enjoy the video good morning so it's the next day yesterday was just a really busy day I feel like we accomplished a lot when I get over there today I'm gonna update you guys on everything that we did yesterday it's kind of starting to look a lot homier the couch was really just a bummer honestly I was really excited to have the couch in there, especially with my sister coming down and visiting so she could really see like the full thing. It is what it is. So here is what's on my to-do list. Emails was on my to-do list because I've neglected them for like the past three days. I do need to finish bringing my clothes over to the apartment. So I don't know if I showed you guys that yesterday. I woke up at like 6 a.m. yesterday and I got to the apartment at like 9. I loaded my car up with as much clothes as I could possibly fit in it. I just need to finish bringing the rest of my clothes over today. You guys know my closet's out of control, so that is that is a task. And I want to completely organize and set up my closet. My bedroom at the apartment is completely just full of, we put like all the bags and boxes and like laundry baskets of stuff is in there instead of the living room basically. I just want to continue going through that and try to kind of empty out my room so we can start bringing all of the stuff over there. We kind of started to bring some of it over there. I also need to set up my internet. There's a lot of other things, but that's kind of like the main things for today. First off, I need to load up my car with some more clothes. And I'm wearing this t-shirt from Urban Outfitters. I showed it in my last haul, so I'll link that here if you guys wanna check it out. Good morning, day three of moving. I've got an iced, caffeinated pumpkin spice. And then I also got a Gouda sandwich, like a bacon, egg, Gouda sandwich. I don't get them very often. Usually the only time I get them is when I'm in Disneyland. I feel like this is a special occasion. I decided to really treat myself this morning. I'm going all out. We're gonna make it a great day. Make it a great day or not, the choice is yours. Did your guys' school say that? Because my elementary school always said that in the morning. So pump up the tunes and drive over to my apartment and get going on my to-do list. I'm gonna organize my closet. I've got tons of clothes in here. My trunk is full as well. I've got some more up here, so. Let me catch you guys up on what we did yesterday and kind of like any updates. I just have the bench here still. I don't know if the bench was here last time I showed you, but we did bring this in. I have a round mirror that's gonna go above it, and then like a little shelf and hook thing that's gonna go here. Kitchen, we actually made some major progress. I have an espresso machine that I think I'm gonna put here. It's currently at my house. This is gonna be my pantry. This is also going to be my pantry. Here, I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna put in here. For now, I just have this little drawer organizer from Ikea. How cute are these dish towels? from Target. I did get this runner um, from Target, so I will link all of this below. I just have some dishes. These are just gonna be some little um, kind of like pantry organizers to put flour and sugar and um, that sort of stuff in. Some utensils. This dish drying rack, which has honestly been really handy. Um, I'm glad I got this. I believe I got it from Target. I have this little paper towel rack, which again, basic, but I feel like it goes. I can always upgrade to cuter items later. So this little marble um, soap container in this drawer which is right next to my sink I have my silverware this is not the permanent setup it's just kind of what I have for now this drawer is all of my dish towels I thought this would be convenient because it is close to the sink and then in this drawer I just have um, kind of like some Ziploc bags and foil my sink I'll probably just put like cleaning stuff um, I just have trash bags soap cleaning supplies and for the fun stuff Above here, I just have 
um, kind of like plates and bowls. Again, this isn't really the permanent setup because I do have some more bowls coming from Crate and Barrel. Over here, I have all of my glasses. I actually have some more that I just washed in the dishwasher that I can put in here. And at the top is all of my wine glasses and champagne. I don't reach for those as often, so they're just at the top. In this drawer for my island, I just have my metal straws, a wine bottle opener, <laughs> like honestly kind of random stuff. I have all of my baking stuff in here so far. Under here, I have pots and pans and cookie sheets and all that stuff. Here, the bottom shelf doesn't have anything yet, but the top just has my salad spinner and mixing bowls. I would say we accomplished a lot as far as the kitchen. We really unboxed a lot of things and organized it. This is the current living room situation. The coffee table actually lifts up, which is super convenient. It's actually on the wrong side. Over here, I have this little basket with a throw blanket. And then I have my TV and media console. And I also have these little black baskets to just kind of store. If I wanted to put like candles or something in it, but I didn't want everybody to like see them. I have this palm plant. It was from Ikea, it was only $14. The stand that it's in is from Kirkland's. And then I give you guys a little update of the bathroom. I have these little decorative towels, again from Target. I do a white shower curtain. I want it to look really clean like a hotel, like very light colors. Kind of just have this going on over here. So I loved these little containers, again from Target from the Magnolia collection, because they're just really sleek and I thought with the black counter, it just looks nice. My closet slash laundry room is not really started yet. It's, well, actually there is one update. I did get this from Ikea and it ended up being the perfect fit. So it kind of like rolls out, which is perfect for the hardwood floor. Just have this to store all of my laundry soap and whatnot on here. This is the situation of my room right now. Hopefully this is the messiest it will ever be. I do need to work on getting this cleared out because we can't really move any bedroom furniture in here with it looking like this. But now that you guys are kind of caught up on everything we did yesterday, I think I'm gonna get started on my closet. This is what my closet currently looks like. And in case I didn't really show you guys, this like is what my closet looks like. So I've got this here and then this and then this. This is what I've already moved over from my house yesterday. I have more in my car. I definitely moved everything so I could do a tap to fill picture on Instagram. Basically just took all of these and moved them all the way over here and everything else I moved, put them up on my washer and dryer. So little update, I guess. I got everything into my closet, but everything that I brought over is moved into my closet. Really kind of get started on organizing my closet. Okay, so this is the current situation. This is like literally no organization. This is just where I happened to set them when I brought them in. Got a lot of my like just other tops like I've got some cardigans and some flannels. I'm gonna probably use the top of the shelves for definitely like my sweaters. Since my dryer is here um, I feel like I almost need to keep the end of this empty because when I had the hoodies here it, they almost blocked this so it was almost to where you couldn't open this which is not functional. This almost has to be either empty or just have like really short items here. So that's that for now. That's just a few of my skirts and pants, a few dresses, and then mainly all of my hoodies. All of my hoodies, nice and color coded. I feel like they just fit perfectly on this wrap. Moving on to all of this. Like usually I keep all of my gray, so I just have short sleeve gray, short sleeve gray, short sleeve gray, long sleeve gray. I might actually do short sleeves color coded, long sleeved color coded. That way the short sleeves will end here and then I'll have enough space to stack something on that shelf.
closet is coming along. My battery died. Here's kind of like what I've organized so far. I don't know if they're gonna stay in this spot, but I've just kind of like organized them. Flip them over, so I have to kind of like flip the hangers because currently they're going like this direction, which I feel like it's just kind of weird because I, if I'm looking at my clothes and trying to pick something out, like I want to see the front of it this way. As I'm organizing them, I'm just flipping the direction of the hangers, which is taking a little bit of time. I tried to put the short tops on the top, like just tank tops and short sleeve shirts and crop tops or whatever, and it just seemed kind of weird to have like, like white short sleeves on the top, white long sleeves on the bottom, and even a lot of my short sleeve shirts are still kind of long to where um, I still wouldn't be able to stack anything on that shelf, so I just don't think I'm gonna be able to stack anything on that shelf. Here is the update on the closet. So I, basically all of these are organized. The hangers are flipped and it's organized. I moved all these up to the top, so these are all my neutrals. None of this is organized so the hangers aren't flipped. It's not like organized by color really. Pretty random because I really don't buy many colors. So that's all here on the bottom. Thinking this is how I can organize it. Here I have all of my hoodies and then just a couple random dresses and skirts and pants. I'll probably put all of my sweaters here. I think all my sweaters will fit on the top. I need to figure out what to do with my jeans. So I might put some cubby shelves here below my hoodies to store my jeans or I might hang my jeans. Right now I'm just kind of putting this on pause. Carried up my clothing rack. I literally love this clothing rack from Ikea. It is $12 and honestly probably the best thing I've ever bought. This definitely helps it look a little bit more full in here. Just going to replace all these items with all of my new Princess Polly items because I did just get a package from them. And I do have some new dishes clean, so I'm just going to unload the dishwasher. Okay, so the room is much cleaner now. I swear I didn't just scoot everything to the walls. Like I actually put a lot of stuff away. I started to kind of put away some stuff in my coat closet. So I have like a file box up here, mainly for taxes. And I put my cleaning supplies here and then my watering can. The bottom of my sink is slightly more organized maybe. I just have a lot of my cleaning stuff in here. Dog bowls, cause I did pay the pet deposit so my dog can come visit. They're just there for now because I haven't even washed them yet. So I washed them, like I said, I'll probably store them not with the cleaning products. Here, I just have some reusable water bottles in my lunchbox. I'm just organizing my bathroom. I have this box full of stuff that I brought from home. Doors are pretty much all empty. been a while since I have vlogged. Now I'm back home and we just had dinner and Lauren and Tanner have joined us. What, what? Also, if you guys might not see me again until tomorrow morning because I probably won't vlog anymore the rest of the night. So I'll just talk to you guys tomorrow and update you then. But I just wanted to pop on here real quick. Hey, so it's the next day and it is Saturday. Lauren and Tanner are here to help with moving. So it's a whole day of mostly like moving in furniture. It'll be a pretty big moving day today. I know the last few days have mostly been just kind of cleaning and organizing. It's actually gonna be a really big moving day because we're actually gonna be moving in all of my bedroom furniture. I'm actually gonna have bedroom furniture. It's got updated tracking for my mattress. So that should be here at the beginning of the week. The mattress is from Lowell. I just heard really good things about Lowell and they look like super comfortable. Um, I actually really, really need a new mattress. I've had my mattress my whole entire life and I think my parents had it before I was born. So it is like really old. I've been due for a new mattress for a long time. So I just thought this would be a good time to get one. Lauren and Tanner are on their way over. My little couch is not super sturdy. I'm gonna be finishing up my closet this morning. So I did get a lot of it done yesterday, but I didn't get it all done. My jeans and sweaters are all folded and I haven't even taken those out of the boxes. And I also loaded up my car with all the remaining clothes and coats and everything like that. Here is the update. I should have time lapsed this, but I would have had like almost an hour of footage. And I'm really running low on SD card storage because I've vlogged so much. This is kind of like the update on my sweaters. I think this is a good setup. I have a few more over here, and I just have a couple other random ones. I know I have a lot of sweaters. Turner and my dad are moving my dresser. Big strong man. Woo! Yay! 
Apparently this Ikea dresser is like kind of known to like break. So we were, my dad wrapped it with this yeah, stuff. She looks like Maleficent now. Yeah. Walk, walk, fashion <laughs> Okay guys, so little update. I was cold so I put this hoodie on. So organizing my closet, Tanner, my dad, and I guess my mom and my sister as well, um, kind of took apart my room furniture and got a lot of it over here. There's still a few other things that they're bringing over and stayed and she's helping me with my closet. Um, so that's what we're working on now. It's just a super busy day. I'm doing my best to vlog, but it is kind of crazy. So currently my desk is here, my big dresser is here, and my nightstand is here and I think they're bringing over my bed frame and take my little you know the little cubby shelves if you've seen them at my closet it's like eight little cubby shelves it's going to kind of like lay it on its side and set all of my jeans in those I have this top shelf that I can utilize for just kind of like storage so I might store kind of just like duffel bags like I, I only have like one duffel bag but like Maybe just extra purses and bags. Also have this shelving, which I'll probably use mostly for like laundry. I did not think my bed would fit in between these two windows but does fit which is very good i'm very very happy about this they said this is like good feng shui for the room it'll look like when you first walk in you'll see the bed i feel like it would have been kind of awkward if my bed was coming out from here lauren wants to shop my closet you can on poshmark your closet i tried it with the dresser there the dresser here and now the dresser here and I think I like it best with the dresser here and the desk here and the nightstand here and the bed here and the clothing rack here. I think this might be the winner. Dad actually came up with this. He wants to be an interior designer now. And I'll be his assistant. Yes. Yes. They are good. They're a really good team. I'm glad I hired them. They're doing so good. Everyone say hi for the vlog. I've been bad about vlogging, so. Hello. Hello, vlog. We are really just unloading everything, quite everything, but a lot, almost everything is here. My closet is about as organized as it's gonna get. Just working on all the boxes of everything for my room, like all of my desk stuff, now that my desk is kind of in there. And then my dressers and everything like that. We had to pretty much take everything out of the drawers. Alex nine drawer is in here. My dad thought to put it in the corner and it actually looks so good. I would have never thought to put it in the corner. I'm trying to choose a name for my Wi-Fi. My dad said One Direction Headquarters. You said... Why click on this if Emily is awesome? Central Perk guest. <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, that's good, Lauren. Oh, I like that. Lauren said Central Perk guest. Like you're, oh, like you're using the Wi-Fi at Central Perk. Or the new Lauren would come up with something. Oh, that's good. What you need? No. I'll get Instagrams. Right, so I'm trying to think of a name for my Wi-Fi. That was Inception. This is a really big decision as far as the apartment goes, maybe the biggest yet. Um, so I'm going to FaceTime my friend Riley for her professional opinion because she's really creative and like super good with stuff like this. So we are going to FaceTime Riley. Hello. I need your professional opinion about something. Do you, you have are... any cute ideas for a Wi-Fi name for Emily? You're good with this stuff. We're trying to pick one. Something well, kind of cute and funny. My idea. Yeah. yeah. My idea was Central Perk guest. Oh. I so like, like that. say hi to the vlog. Hello. <laughs> I'm just here organizing my makeup. I have a nice little windowsill to set you on. I just wanted to talk to you guys really quick because I feel like it's just been a crazy day. So I haven't really been able to like vlog a ton. I want to like enjoy and like live in the moment. There's so much to do and kind of like a short time frame. And I also want to spend time with Lauren and Tanner. Just like so many things that I want to get done. It's like Monday starts back up. Just like a bunch of things like 
that I need to do for next week. And so I feel like a lot of pressure to get everything done this weekend. I'm just so excited, but I'm also a little sentimental about moving out because I have lived with my parents obviously all of my life. I do spend a lot of time with them. So it is kind of sad to think about like not living with them anymore, but it's also really exciting to think about having my own place, like my own space. It's just nice to have a fresh change. I feel like I've just been kind of doing the same thing for a long time now. Like I'm super excited and I just really, really love this place so far. So I have a couch now. It's like literally from the 80s or 90s. So it was just sitting in our basement. At least I have a place to sit. Lauren had a good idea of taking this throw blanket I bought and putting it over the cushion and it just makes it look kind of nice. Hey guys, so it's a couple days later. I am just back here kind of finishing up things. My mattress should come super soon. I'm just gonna spend today kind of getting everything ready. I also haven't gone grocery shopping yet, so I'm definitely gonna go grocery shopping. Lauren was here and arranged some of my decorations on my coffee table, so this actually looks so cute. For here, I don't know if I'll leave it like this, but I just kind of put some random decorations here. As you can see, there is no space for a mattress currently because it really is just a mess. I got this new lamp at Target. I thought it kind of fit the kind of simplistic look. So it is a little bit later now. I've just been working on organizing my apartment. Now I'm about to do my first real grocery shop. I'm about to go to Target. There's a Super Target, you guys. If you watch my apartment shopping vlogs, know how much I love a Super Target. So I'm going there for my groceries because I have some Target gift cards. Probably end up getting some things from Walmart and some local grocery stores as well. And then at some point, I'm gonna try to make it to Trader Joe's to get some groceries as well. Today, I'm just kind of getting the basics. I'm also gonna stop and look at this couch because there is a furniture store where we're at and they have a sectional and it comes in three separate pieces and we measured it and I do think it would fit in my doorway. I can get it in whatever fabric I want. It'd take about four months to get here. And that's probably gonna be it for this first moving vlog um, just because I feel like I have so much footage from the last few days. Guys, just a little update. I found that sectional that I showed you guys. It comes in three pieces. It's super, super soft. It's like exactly the color I was originally wanting. Let's pick out my pillows. I am back at the apartment and I did my first round of grocery shopping. I did it all at Target. I'm just gonna do a quick haul while I'm putting all this away. I got this blueberry muffin like package. I obviously got eggs and then just some quick oats. Big thing of peanut butter. And then this is not like a necessity by any means. I've actually never even had it before. And then I got a head of lettuce, some tortilla chips, some rigatoni noodles. I literally eat pasta like every day. I also got some fettuccine noodles. Um, I got some white rice because I want to make some sushi bowls. Also got some Totino's pizza. I love these. They take like 10 minutes and they're like a dollar and they are honestly so good. I also just got some of this bread. I love this for avocado toast. So some Honey Nut Cheerios, chocolate chips so I can bake some cookies, just some cheese, some brown sugar, some chips. I literally like a bag of these sun chips in like one sitting. I've never had this before, but my sister made sushi bowls and she said this yum yum sauce was really good. And then I feel like mayonnaise is just a good thing to have. Uh, cooking spray, taco seasoning. I love these croutons and salads. So I got that. Mustard, olive oil. I also got some vegetable oil. Sea salt. Got the wrong thing. I'm in, <laughs> I meant to get sea salt. Just got some Prego sauce. Some, a little bit of produce. I'm actually not gonna be sleeping here tonight or anything, so I don't want to get anything like too fresh. Got this margarita pizza. It just looked really good. And I also got some sugar.
I never really officially ended this vlog because I kind of just kept vlogging every day with no official end because I didn't know how I was going to break this up. So I do hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you'd like to see now that I've moved and I feel like I have more kind of lifestyle content to post. But I really do hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to thumbs up. Follow me on Instagram at grace26. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Turn on the notification bell so you can be notified when the third moving vlog goes up and also the apartment tour at some point. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!